Let's get it. King America is back in the building. And we're going to do this a little different this time, you know. I guess I'm going to go to the back with it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it all back to the back, okay? So the time, the tone will be, my peoples. It was 152, 10, 29, 2014, October. Almost a holiday that I dislike. Actually, I dislike all the holidays. I don't think it's not one holiday that I like. But, um, hey, you know, teach his own, so they say. But um, I want to um, sing one of my new favorites for y'all. This is a song called I See Fire by Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, right? So, we finna kick it in for y'all. I had to write this song down. Because I kind of know the song since I sung it like... Maybe 50, 60 times already. But I know it, but I don't want to make no mistakes, so... I wrote it all down. Certain words, I don't really understand what he said in the song. The actual word, but... I made it sound like, you know. So we got 31 minutes and 14 seconds on this one. Okay. Because I've been trying to load them up, but every time I try to load them up, it disappears off my scheme. I, I loaded up, um, I loaded up, um, an Ed Sheeran song, but I put the pictures with it, and the pictures was going with it. It was beautiful to me, you know. They blanked it out. Said I couldn't do it. Blanked it out. Didn't tell me why. They just blanked it out. Then I put up another video stating on some more information. They just blanked it out. So, you know, you just got to keep trying, you know. Maybe, you know, YouTube might let this video go up. Who knows? But it feels good to, you know, after 400, after uploading 400 videos, you know, I haven't been banned, so... And I heard people, channels got blocked and banned. They had to open up new channels. So I don't understand that part either. So it's like, wow. Then after 400 channels too, I never got any bad comments. I didn't understand that part either. I heard people had bad comments. People said, I don't get no comments. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. No bad comment. Yeah, a few good ones, but there wasn't too many of those either. I mean, if you do 400 videos and then you do 30 comments, 400 videos, you got 30 comments. Hmm. Hey, man, let them do what they do, man. We just let our light shine, and we do what the soul inside of, which is us. You are the spirit. You are the soul which inside that says what you want and what you want to do. You know? Oh. I had to put my Pocahontas in, dog. Due to the fact that after I watched the 500 Nations, I advise y'all to check that out by, um... I forgot his name, but, um... I advise y'all to check that out. 500 Nations. I watched that movie and tears just start running down my eyes, man. Just to see that, you know what I mean? See that type of mind state take place. You know? That's why I kind of look at people when they say that um, this is my land and look at my home and my and my and my. It just makes me cry. It's like, y'all, something is seriously, seriously wrong. This ain't your land. This is everybody's land. You know what I mean? But we'll get down to that in a minute. Okay. Let me see if I can start off right. Home is the eye of the mountains below. <clears throat> this is a rough draft, and I mean, I ain't, I got my voice. I mean, I just came back from a few job interviews. Well, not interviews, but I had to put my job application in. My social security card came. Bow, I'm back in the game now. Now I'm going out job hunting and do what I got to do. Because they stopped me for a minute because you got, you got your social security card. I'm like, no, man, I ain't got it. Man, I lost my wallet. 
said, well, you got to get that before I can move you on to the job. I'm like, all right, let me go handle the business because you got to play the game. If that's what the game they want to play, we'll play that game. But that doesn't stop you from playing the unity game, too. That doesn't stop your family from growing in unity. Just play the game. Then in a minute, the family will grow so big, you know what I mean? You make a phone call. Hey, brother, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got a little problem, man. Send me a cold fire. All right. And we all send you a cold fire. All right, go handle that, dog. Happy Earth Day, dog. Tell your business. And then you'll see how that particular um, process will take over everything. Take over. You would just be walking free. You wouldn't be thinking about sovereignty and this and this and thinking about that. You wouldn't have to think about those things because those things are traps in itself. When you, when you say you're free, you're free. Now the only thing you have to do is, uh, the only thing you have to do, the only thing you have to do is, um, is show you're free. And show that you have the mind to become free. Because as you can see, this is a labyrinth that we're playing in. This is a um, this is a game that somebody structured. You know, you know that for a fact. Just look around. This is a game that somebody structured to harness souls and spirits, to use you as a battery, as a light, to use you and then bring you back through. And use you again. You feel me? And I know a lot of y'all don't want to come back to the world when it's in this state. Well, here we go again. Let me hurry up and blow these suckers out of the wall. Y'all ready to get it? Let's get it! This ain't no joke. Just to stand up and let's get and plus I got another song that I like that comes on after this song so we're gonna vibe with that song too I want you to listen to the words listen to the words and let them seep into your soul listen to the words and let the words seep into your soul let them seep into the inner parts of yourself let them get in there let them vibe with you let them get up in there <sighs> I gotta get ready I gotta try to blow this out you got ready five one, two, three, hit it. Oh, misty eye of the mountains below. Keep careful watch of my brother's souls. And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke. Keep watching over during sun. Let's get it, kings and queens. Stand up. I gotta get it. If this is the end of fire, then we should all burn together. Watch the flames climb high. Into the night, calling our fathers, oh, sit by and we will watch the flames burn over and on the mountainside. High. And if you should die tonight, then we should all die together. Raise our glass of wine For the last time Calling our Father Lord Prepared as we will Watch the flames burn over and on The mountainside Desolation comes upon the sky Now I see fire Inside the mountains I see fire Burning the trees I see fire Hollowing souls I see fire Burning the breeze And I hope that 
But spilling the blood of a brother By spilling the blood of a brother For them to be great For them to be great And stop the people with hunger And leave the people with hunger Join in arms race Everyone who wanna be world leader Think of your rappers Join in arms race Think of your stars They all want to rule this world Think of them Mix up, mix up Whoa, we live in a yeah, 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 yeah. Mix up, mix up, whoa, we live in a yeah, yeah. Mix up. Okay, as y'all can see, people, it's a mixed up world. It's a mixed up world. But I jotted down some notes in here. And uh, basically, the world is using star seeds as, you know, I mean, star seeds and, you know, certain powerful entities that have power over certain dimensions in space, right? And what they're doing is they're getting certain star seeds to fight against other star seeds. I mean, through religion. So they'll take one out the sky and the star seed is born. They'll confuse the mind of the star seeds, fill the star seeds with their particular dogma, whether it's just Christian or this or that or any type of religion. They'll fill them with star seeds and how them star seeds go to war with the frequency of the masses behind them against the other ones. You feel me? It's time for the star seeds to recognize that that's not how it's done. It's time for the star seeds to unite and be the king and queen that you are. And excuse me. And put the people behind you in check. Because they're gonna keep doing this to you over and over and over. It's a catch twenty two. Because these people and these people they're all working together against you. Why are they working against you? Because they don't want you to come to power and they don't want to be under your realm and they don't want to put you on a natural position that you're supposed to be in. They want to run you. You feel me? So, and then you got the basically the religious pacts between each other. You notice there's no all-out war, right? You see anybody all-out in war? You see they got a pact. They got a pact between each other. All these different religions, they all have a pact between each other. You got to understand this. They're just getting the ones who they can control and get them into an anger type of situation and fight over something. If they can get you to fight over something, whether it's a car, a lollipop, or whatever, a girl, or whatever. If they can get you to fight over something, they can get you in a position to take but if you never fought over anything, then you will see and you can put them in positions to where you can understand like, oh, you kill, oh y'all killing people for nothing? Oh, he didn't even do nothing. Well, she didn't do nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But once you put yourself, it takes two to tangle. Once you tangle inside a religious battle, a religious war, now they can take you out. You got to understand that. Be yourself and let your light sign. And now that we're in the age of of uh, these cameras and stuff, carry a camera wherever you go. Video cam wherever you go. Even if you got to put one on your shirt, get the ones to put on your shirt. Go wherever you go so your story can tell itself. And by this happening, uh, due to the ways of the world and the way they get down, you will be in, man, you'll be in court every week, chipped up, 
because they can't beat what's on the camera. They can't beat it. It's true. Watching the other person do what the other person did, it's true. So remember that. They're using the camera against you, putting them on every stoplight and this and this and putting you in the matrix and putting you in the rat race and putting you in the, the labyrinth and running you like a rat. Now, put the camera on the camera and let the camera watch the camera. It's called the mirror effect in the 48 laws of power. Remember that, okay? Now, um, this is what I want to talk about too. The last video, it didn't seem right because they cut me off before I can explain what I was trying to explain. So, being fearless is like being willing to die for something positive versus negative. Standing tall on your square rather than living on your knees, right? Standing tall. You know, meaning that if I was to get somebody and I would say, hey, man, we got to be fearless, man. We got to be fearless. You can't be having no fear, nothing. You got to be willing and ready to die. I mean, whenever the call, if they come and if it happens, you got to be willing and go in open arms. I mean, hey, man, this is the way it is. If you like that, then we can get this process going. But if you have any fear of somebody putting fear on your life to stop you from telling the truth, then this process will never go. You feel what I'm saying? It will never work. Because I can say something like that and a brother, I can get some brothers, you know what I mean, family members together and then somebody can call on the, on the phone, right? Be like, woo, 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 man in black. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, you better not. Yeah, I'll be, yeah I'm watching y'all right now. Yeah, okay, okay. And then what they do is they put something or make something happen to one of your family members. And now you like, ooh, they say, see, see what happened? I told you, we're not playing. Now you want to continue to do this? And you bow down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it. You feel what I'm saying? But remember that um, you can go out and get hit by a car. So instead of standing on your feet and fighting for what you knew that was truth and believing in the faith in yourself, like, I know this is true, so I don't care what you do. All right, you got, all right, that's not going to stop me. And I got 50, 100 other, but they ain't going to stop them either. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep going until this world is free, until we no longer have to pay for fruits and vegetables. We no longer have to pay uh, uh, five, $600 to eat healthy. We have the ground that was given to us by birth. We have the seeds that was given to us by birth. But you want us to pay for fruits and vegetables. But then you want to give us a burger for one dollar. I can buy a burger that will clog up my arteries and kill me and shut down my chakras and shut down my light and keep me from being who I am for one dollar. But the fruit is way high. You should never sell any fruit. You should never sell anything. If I'm considered to be your brother and your sister and your family. And this is considered to be united place where we stay at. You feel me? Okay, so that's what I wanted to break down about that, about being fearless. You know, you got to be fearless because they will do anything, you know. And when it comes down, when it comes down to it, it's basically you're fighting for the dominion of yourself and in yourself. If those around you doesn't, uh, can't fit in, to who you are and can't accept who you are, you know, then that's their problem. That's not your problem. That's their problem. Maybe it's because they didn't want to eat healthy or do something or do this and get the body and get the chakras right. Because remember, a person with the chakras aligned and the kundalini aligned, the other persons that's not, the chakras are dead. They end up being... Um, like in the movie um, Harry Potter, uh, they end up being like um, necromancers, or whatever they call them, necromancers, the black shadows. They come and suck from the lights that you did your hard work and followed the ancestors and got your lights lit up. They're there to suck from your light and bring you back down to nothing. Then have you keep trying to gravitate towards who you are. They pull you down. You climbing up, you climbing up, you meditating, you doing your thing, you doing your yoga, you woo woo. 
And you got a group of people who's not into that. They're living off of um, the light chakra that comes from the heart chakra. So if they're living off the light chakra that's coming from the heart chakra, that means they have to penetrate your heart chakra to get your light out. So that continuation can flow through. But you have to be strong enough to understand that. And be like, no, 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 no. I got the natural energy to give you that comes from my voice. If you can't accept that, you know, then that's on you. If you don't like what planet this energy is coming from, then that's on you. Because I will, listen, I will defend the ancestors that's inside of me. You know, I will defend them because they have rode with me and showed me everything that I needed to see and brought me where I needed to be. So I will defend them. I won't let you take over them or take over the brain, the mind, and put uh, individuals back to where you had them in the beginning. Would you say we was born into sin? Push that a lot. You know, so you got to understand that. And um, back to uh, Ed Sheeran. And that last song was written by... Uh, uh, the, the last song was written by... Um, let me see if I can get it. It's called Mixed Up World. And it was written by... Uh, <laughs> China Maya Presents... 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary collection by Quinto Rhymer. Q U I T O R Y M E R. Quinto Rhymer. If y'all want to go get that, go get that. Play that. Because fill your mind with positivity. Fill your mind with positive music. Let all the negativity music go. Because words are power. And don't let them words get into your temple. Kings and queens. Don't let it get into your temple. Words are power. And uh, the other one. Let me get this story out of the way. Ed Sheeran. Now this is how I came to. This was like three, four days ago. I was watching The Hobbit. Um, I don't know if it was, I think it's the second Hobbit. I was watching the second Hobbit. Some snoofy doop. I don't know the name. But I was watching that one, right? And at the end of the movie, right? The movie went off. I was like, yeah, it was a good movie. And then the song came on. I seen fire. I was like, what the, who the hell is this? Oh my goodness, this cat is rocking. Right? And in my mind, since I've been doing the numerology a lot, I knew, I was just saying to myself, I was like, man, I just know, I know that we have some type of connection between our astrological signs because that sound like some shit that I would write. That's what it sounded like. So his birthday was February uh, February, February 17th, uh, 1991. So I did the numerology and his psych number was the eight because you got to put the one and the seven together. One and seven is eight. You know, mine is March 26, 1978. So you got to put the two and the six together, which gives you eight. So we both have the eight psych number, you know, same as uh, Master Farah Muhammad got the eight psych number. And, um, uh, Elijah Muhammad got the eight psych number. Um, I can go on and on. You know, Bob Marley, you have the nine destiny. So you can see how it's all correlating by, you know, I mean, how it's going, how it's flowing. So then I did his... Uh, Chinese astrology, right? I pulled out my Chinese astrology book, which is this one. I pulled this one out. And I went on there and looked it up. I was like, okay, let me look this up. And it ended up being, he was a horse too. A metal horse. I'm an earth horse, 78. He's in 1991. But I think it's, yeah, 1991. Um, he born on the cusp, I think. So he was a metal horse. I'm like, wow, I can actually see how it goes together and why I love them because I felt your vibration, Mr. Ed Sharan. I felt your vibration coming through the music. 
because you got to know this flesh that you see right here, this is an illusion. We are solar light beings. Beneath this lie who we are, you know, and it comes out from our soul when you see and when you feel a certain way about a certain situation, like the way I feel about the 500 nations, what happened to the Indians, what happened to um, all our people, you know. I don't like to put names on our people. That was a, a product of divide and conquer by putting names on the people. You know, once you start naming things, now you can put them in divisions. But if you've one name, human being, human, one name, it can't be divided. You know, that was a part of uh, the divide and conquer type of situation. So you got to recognize about putting names on stuff. You know, the Hebrew Israelites, this, the Wushis, the Hifa, the Orisha, the this, the that. Once you put a name on it. When it's all linked to the same thing, because we all linked to one body. So if Orisha was right here, then that means Orisha is everywhere, right? You feel what I'm saying? If uh, Bob Marley's over here, if somebody's over here, 